What's up, citizens? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, MC Adventure City. Welcome to episode 15 of Greg Tech New Horizons, where I've done a bunch of side quests. Start out in tier 0 0.5. So I found some Sky Stone, which I'm going to pick the loot bag for this one. And uh, put the Dark Wizard coins in there, put the Explorer coins in there. I'll open the loot bags after I finish them. I found one of these too, but I'm going to claim this one first. So we get coins for that and food. Coins for that. I'm going to wait to do that until after I put the coins away. And then we will need this one. We get an iron gear for that. Okay, that helps somewhat. Let's go ahead and put this as our first 10 level coin. Um, which one do we not have that much of? How much leather do we even have right now? Six. Oh, we, we're going to breed more cows anyway, so we need two. So I'm going to pick the... Probably the um, wool-covered frames, most likely. Or no, I'm not sure yet, actually. Or I'll pick the Steam Age loot bag. Because all of those other ones we can get fairly easily. Wool we can get from cotton and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the gear in here. And then I'll pick frame drawers the two by two. Wait, what? They does not have a recipe. They probably do. Oh yeah, they were. They're the most expensive ones. So I'll pick those. So I think you only get one per. Yeah. So there we go, and we get more technician coins, which I will put in there. And then. That's it for quests that needed to be claimed there. I did get the solar boiler to get just some more coins. Uh, this quest, which was fairly easy. I'll have to, um, I need to put some stuff away. I'll put this in here. Um, then we completed the extra modifier since that was fairly easy and we get all these things again. So let's put the gold away. Oh yeah, we're getting lots of food from this, which is good. So I'll wait on, let me put some of this stuff away. I'll do the loot bags last. Is that it for steam? Yes, that is it for steam. I also killed some dire wolves. When I was out looking for um, that. Multi-block goals. We, can, we got this, and I'm gonna pick the steel, and that's the hardest to get currently. There we go. Let's open this. We got cinnamon sugar donuts for that. Which are pretty good food. Let's see what we have in here that is three hunger bars, if anything. Gingerbread. Yeah, or not. There we go. Now let's open the Steam Age loot bags. I should probably, yeah, I gotta put these in their own chest. Oh, we got some armor. Should I put the leather armor or the imskin armor? Well, the imskin lasts longer, so. Or, or, so I'll get rid of the leather because it's worse first. So. Those are in there. What do we get for that? Okay, uh, so, so miner's backpack. We got 64 salt. 
Oh, and we got beef wellingtons. That's nice. Nice. Anyway, so let's put our extra steel away. Now that's all of our quests claimed. So our next goal is probably going to be upgrading our machines, or most, most of our machines, to high pressure. At least, yeah, first. We'll start with getting a high pressure boiler, which does take some iron. Like, how much iron do we have? None. None processed. So how much do we have unprocessed? No, we don't have any bandits, so I'll use this then. I'll get like, I don't know, let's, how much steam do we have? We have enough. Let's just get ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just do that, let that run for a bit. And then I will, we should have a, an odd number of coal coke in here last I checked. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and, you know, we have 88 coal coke. So I'm gonna dump one in there to get enough, um, just get some more steam going. The high pressure coal boiler, and then I'm gonna also go for the high pressure, um, probably compressor, which takes two, eight wrought iron plates, which is 12 wrought iron ingots. That's most of our wrought iron, unfortunately. Yeah. But I'll wait until we, um, so yeah, I'm probably going to cut in a second here and see what else we can do before we, while we wait on this iron, the process. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what other quests we can do. Um, probably none that I can think of. Scoop, we can use iron for that probably, in fact, that's probably what I'll use. So I'll use some of this other iron for. Like we're gonna need we're gonna need more iron later as lots more iron as we get later on in the in the steam and LV and all that. Let's take a look at our extractor. Bronze hole. We already have the ex regular extractor, so. so that's a lot more wrought iron. That's like each of these is like, well, we get a few ingots per machine, so we should probably go for the compressor first. And then there's, um, what else is there here? We are going to need, um, Anyways, yeah, I'm going to cut and come back once this iron is processed. <laughs> Probably. After I sleep, of course. And then I'm going to, um, yeah. Multi-block goals. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cut. Be back in a bit. And we are back. Um, and we are back. The We have the um, this. Let's get the bricks before I forget. There we go. There we go. We have our wrench at the ready. So now I'm going to need to get our wait. So we're going to need to also do the thing here.
There we go. Now we have a high pressure boiler to produce a bit more steam, and I'll probably use both of them concurrently initially. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not like there's a separate high pressure steam. I don't think there is. No, there's not. It's just steam. So our next goal is probably going to be to get ourselves one, two, six wrought iron, uh, eight wrought iron plates actually. So which is twelve wrought iron. Let's see how long this takes in the same amount of time as iron and steel. So let's go ahead and steam forge hammer all this stuff. This will help us first off. The reason I'm getting why I'm getting this one first is so to help us with. Um, let's look up Google Greg Tech High Pressure Steam Machines. Just want to make sure I'm doing this right. for the high pressure compressor. The reason, like I said, the re like I was saying, the reason why the f I'm getting this one first is because um, what goes on the top and what goes on the bottom? It's wrench on the top, hammer on the bottom. Okay. Wrench and hammer. high pressure compressor, which will take also a steel, a couple more steel plates, I think, right? Yeah, we need one more steel plate. But since the forge hammer is slightly more efficient and makes two at a time, I'll go ahead and do that. Take a look at this high pressure compressor. Let's make sure this is enough to fill it. I hope, I mean, like, it should keep up with the pipes. I hope I don't have to upgrade the pipes. But yeah, that's mainly so we can get more wrought iron more easily. We're going to need more for the, yeah. Definitely thinking of the raw iron there. Now we have seven. And then for the next um, several steps, which will probably go for the macerator next, which only takes a bit more. Okay, yeah. So I'll go, we can get the macerator, which is one, two, three, four, five raw iron. A six raw iron, that's 11 times one and a half, we'll say 18 total raw iron. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of raw iron for that. Okay, in that case, let's go ahead and just, no, we're gonna need to get iron though for that as well. So, do I go for the four timer next? Oh, well, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and process all the iron we need. Hmm, let's see here, where's our, Sixteen um, ingots. Yeah, there we go. That'll take a bit because we need eleven ingots, I think, for that. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, also another thing I was gonna get and I just completely forgot about that was molds. We we're gonna need all of these molds for we want to get, what was it that we needed molds for for this? And get mold for this one? Yes, with netherrack dust. So, yeah, that's a side quest, but I'm still going to go ahead and get them. Um, we need 20 steel for that, and that's in the smeltery, right? We 
use some aluminum brass too then. Let's go ahead and get some steel. That's most of our steel. No, it's not most, it's like a third of our steel. But it's a lot of it. So, yeah. Okay. That is a mainline quest though. So I might actually wait on that. Okay, no, it's good. It's just a regular. For some reason, I was thinking there was a red tint, like, like there is with a blood man. And then there's There we go, there we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna think about this for a second, what else we could do. Yeah, we're halfway through the episode. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut and come back once we have wrought iron and all that. Be back in a bit. And we're back. I've done most of the wrought iron. I have five more ingots I can throw in there. But um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves one, two, three, four, five steel and then a small wrought fluid. Okay. Macerator, and that, that gets us our high pressure macerator. So that'll have to fill up its steam buffer. Which the one thing I cannot stand is how I can't view view that steam buffer. I'm gonna let that build up for a bit and then Now what I keep putting off is um, upgrading our pickaxe. There we go. Yeah, it gives us a bit better durability on the pickaxe. It's going up now, which is good. So I can go ahead and throw this into the... So what do we need for a high pressure extractor? We just need our extractor two more wrought iron plates, and we have all the pipes already. So let's go ahead and get the forge hammer. And then I'll go ahead and... There we go. And then I'll go ahead and compress that while we wait. Wait. No. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry about that later. Uh, we do need more steel. We need one, two, three more steel. I wonder if we can run both of these at once. Probably isn't a smart idea, but whatever. Won't hurt me too much. I have 287 buckets of steam. So now that will get us the high pressure extractor, which if I can find it, that's on the quest book. It's right there. And we get uh, we need our five these two of those and then our extractor where's our wrench let's get our wrench so we can break our extractor down and steam extractor now after this is done after we build up some more steam this is almost done, so how much? We have 282,000 left. So let's go ahead and put two in our high pressure boiler. I'm gonna probably start using that almost exclusively. 
I mean, that consumes fuel faster. I'll probably put double the cold coke in there is what I put in the regular boiler because that still hasn't drained its heat fully. This one has. So, yeah. And we have our sticky resin, of course, but I'm gonna see what else can we get in terms of high pressure machines. Um, nothing that I can think of because the alloy smelter requires a bunch more stuff, as does the furnace. Really, the only one. What about the forge hammer? Go ahead and bookmark that. Let's take these two off of here. I could take the regular ones off of there too. The high pressure forge hammer I'm going to bookmark and the alloy smelter I'm going to bookmark. Which one should come next? I mean th those each take, well this one takes a bit more wrought iron. So that's nine plus nine, that's 18 total wrought iron, yeah okay. And we have eight. I mean, either way, it's going to take a bunch of wrought iron. So, Although I think, don't we need the alloy smelter? Yeah. Alloy smelter is what I'll do next. So we're, are, we're going to need 10 more wrought iron. But I'll do that after I see how much. Should I run this first, or should I run the iron process through first. I'll run the iron process first. Since that now only takes 20 seconds, which is nice. Twenty seconds per ore instead of forty. <laughs> it's basically the same speed as the LV machines, which Makes it a nice stepping stone. I know a lot of pe a lot of players skip it, but I'm not going to just because I want to get completion for the qu like just do all the side quests in addition to all the main quests. Just look at this 40 rubber bars, yeah. And then we will need some more of this. No, I'm gonna wait on that. Okay, so. I'll wait on the molds. I'll do the molds probably. It makes the lowest priority right now and after. So it's already halfway done with that iron. Okay. And if we um, if we turn all sixteen of them into wrought iron, which I probably will turn all sixteen into wrought iron, we are going to need to how much? Um, it's like nine more coal coke or something like that. Might want to get some more coal coke in one of these, whichever one's not full. That one. Get like another stack of coal coke cooking up. But yeah. We'll see in a second here. Sulfur dust do we even have in here? I think we have yeah, we have more sulfur dust than we need, right? Yeah. Where's our Thanks to like small wars and stuff in the nether. And then we need um
So let's go ahead and take a look at how this is, if it's still filling up. So now we can extract. That'll take 15 seconds per. Let's calculate 15 times 40. That is 10 minutes total processing time for all 40 of the sticky resin. Let me actually do this real quick. Something I've been meaning to do for a while is lower the floor right in front of our machines by one just so we can access the pipes and stuff for all of our machines. I'll do it here too. Why the heck not? That's probably where we'll put our furnace once we make make it. How much durability do we have left? Oh, we don't have enough durability on the saw, do we? Yep. Okay, that complicates things. Should I go ahead and make a steel saw? Or no, I'll just make another saw with our one, two, three. There we go. This is gonna take a file and a hammer. blade and then I'm gonna need a stick of some sort. Use our existing saw to make the stick. Now oh, we'll only end up getting 13 which I don't that's not much. Okay let's go ahead and do So a stack plus 45, that is one, two, three, four. Let's just go ahead and waste the extra coal, full coal coke on this. I hate to do it, but it's what we need to do. It's what we need to do. Yeah. Okay, um, check on that, it's getting close to being done. But anyways, that's with the first half of our rubber stuff. Now that I think about it, I should probably rip up those berries and plant some more rubber trees, but yeah.
So we'll go ahead and start up the second batch. And I'm probably going to end the episode in a second here as well because I don't think this will get done in time. Extra nugget for some reason. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, for some reason I have an extra nugget. It's weird. Or did I miss some nuggets? enough, right? We only needed 18 total wrought iron and what, 20, so yeah, I think with our net gain currently, I'll just go ahead and throw this in there. I'll start dropping on it, yeah. go. Now for the forge hammer. Yeah. Yep, we're going to have to end the episode in a second here because I think we're over, over the 30 minute mark. But I would like to get the high speed um, High pressure alloy, alloy smelter before I end the episode, so who knows? I'll wait a few minutes then. So we just gotta wait for a bit longer, a couple more minutes, and then I'll end the episode once I get this stuff. And then, and then probably next episode we'll probably do some more si finish upgrading our machines and then we'll do some more side quests. to be done, so I'm going to go ahead and forget is it a wrench on the top hammer on the bottom oh, yeah I think it is where's a wrench though where's our wrench there it is
And now we can upgrade our alloy smelter. And that just finished, that's good. Two extra wrought iron. Let's go ahead and find our wrench. There it is. There we go. That'll get us three wrought iron ingots. I think we will need one more though. We want to get enough for the yeah, so I'll put that off until next episode because we are at time. Put off getting the last couple high pressure machines, mainly the forge hammer, but probably also the furnace, even though we're probably not going to use the furnace that much. Yeah. Yep. I'll go ahead and bookmark the furnace. And then. Yeah, and then we'll see where to go from there. Anyways, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.